Good morning. It is Monday morning. It is the end of week 16 of my keto journey. Four months on keto. Hope you're doing well. Uh, checking in here on the end of week 16. Uh, this has been a fantastic run uh, for the last four months. So last week I uh, weighed in at 225. Uh, this week I have lost another 2.8 pounds, almost three pounds this week. Um, my goal, as I've said all along, is 215, 215. Last week I was within 10 pounds. Now I'm uh, within about eight, no, eight, seven, something like that. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm over the moon, guys. Um, I started this exactly four months ago. Today is when I sat down and recorded this first video um, to talk about trying keto, uh, to talk about how I had had enough of being overweight for most of my adult life, enough of fighting for the last five something years, trying to figure out how to get healthy, stay healthy, and frankly, not be a big guy, not be, in my view, fat, not be tired all the time. My back hurts, my ankles hurt, my knees hurt. I can't get out of bed without grunting. I can't get off the floor practically without help. Cre creeping on 270 pounds, um, going into keto, having absolutely no idea if this would work or not. And I am, uh, I'm glad to report that so far as we continue, it's working. So this past week, uh, did not change much from the week before. I'm still having the breakfast. Actually, I need to eat breakfast. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Um, the breakfast for the most part, you know, comes and goes. Um, uh, Right now it's uh, three banquet breakfast sausages. They're frozen links, uh, three of them in the microwave for a minute. Makes a nice fatty, uh, juicy piece of meat. Um, if I have time, I will also fry an egg, a single egg um, fried in about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. If I don't have time for the egg, I'll just make it five sausage patties instead of three. Gives me about 300-ish, 350 calories for the morning. Gives me a perfect 80% fat, 15% protein, 5% carbs. Lunch, uh, the twist I made to lunch this past week was ditched the uh, cheddar cheese for Parmesan cheese, which put a lot more flavor uh, into the salad. Um, so again, just a bed of um, romaine lettuce broken up uh, the Parmesan cheese. I like black olives, so I'll put 10 black olives on there. Um, and then if I've got room for a protein, uh, if, I, if I have leftovers for a protein, if I have some leftover hamburger, leftover chicken breast, something like that, I'll put about a quarter cup or so. Uh, we're at two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil on the salad, along with a tablespoon of uh, Italian dressing. Um, if I don't have the meat the, to be able to put on the salad, but I know I want some protein, it's an opportunity to get some fiber. I'll put those ridiculous chia seeds, uh, just a tablespoon of those. They get stuck in your teeth and you spend like an hour trying to get them out of your teeth. But they're good on the fiber um, and uh, they help keep you regular. So that's lunch, dinner. God, this week was just all over the map, man. I don't. I had a dinner plan for the week and I followed it, but... I felt like, I just felt like I was eating so much for dinner every single day. Um, I don't know, it, it, all the dinners felt heavy even though I knew I was trying to keep within the keto. All the dinners just ended up being, like I've said for weeks and weeks and weeks, protein heavy when they really needed to be more fat heavy. But again, it's kinda, it kinda is what it is. Um, just trying to figure out where we need to be uh, for these final end run weeks, what I need to do, but primarily trying to understand what I'm gonna do going forward, right? The dinners, some type of meat dinner, right? Fine, but I've gotta avoid the, the starches and the carbs as much as I can. The pasta, no, bread, no, um, rice, no, potatoes, no. Uh, my substitute for almost all of those is cauliflower. 
Um, Bird's Eye has a steam in bag of cauliflower. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive, really easy to cook. Uh, fits the macros in a good way. And I've got like four different flavors, so that works out. Um, that's all well and good. The uh, other dinners, uh, if I just look really quickly here at my list from last week, we had uh, beef stroganoff. That was a good one because the sour cream and the meat puts in the extra fat that you need. Uh, we had pizzas one day last week, but I had the real or something real good food brand uh, pizza from Walmart that has a Parmesan cheese crust to get eight little uh, pizzas um, and those are like almost no carbs so that that worked really good and those are like four or five bucks those are fine I did a stir fry again stir fry works well zucchini noodles instead of rice or, or Chinese noodles um, a salad here and there you know we, we do a salad with some broken up chicken breast from rotisserie chicken I get to fry up that chicken skin and that makes a nice thing on top and cheeseburgers did burgers on the grill uh, everybody else's side dish was potato chips. Mine was, ooh, I just got a new bag yesterday. Pork rinds, pork rinds. Max chicarons, pork skins. I love these. These are one of my best friends um, for the keto diet. So if you don't like pork skins, I'm sorry, but these, if you're doing keto, are easier snack, easier chips. You can have chips, they're just made of pig skin. Okay, so again, trying to figure out where we're gonna be uh, for the last several weeks here, but really looking beyond. Um, and I've had several conversations with my coach, my son, Sebastian, about uh, what the future holds. And he'll ask me periodically, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? And uh, admittedly, I don't have a good answer yet. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm going to try and slowly ease back in some elements of regular eating, but I'm not, I'm not in the mindset of abandoning uh, frankly what I built I feel like over the last four months I've worked hard for for this I worked hard for this changed body of mine um, I have to go clothes shopping I don't even know what size pants I wear anymore to be honest with you I've been walking around in at least a 44 men's pants for the last five years so I had some size 42s that were kind of stretched out a little bit Every single one of those pairs of pants hangs off me and I look ridiculous. Even when I put a belt on, I feel like I look like I'm wearing MC Hammer pants. It's uh, and, and people have commented. My wife has commented. One of my employees commented. Like, you need to go clothes shopping, Mr. Smith. Shirts. All the t-shirts that I own, uh, most of my work polos are now too big. Um, I was buying three X's for the last two, three years. So... So those are too big. Um, I pulled out some old 2X shirts uh, from before I was really huge, I guess. And uh, they kind of fit okay. You know, I think that the, the 2X is decent, but I don't have many of them. And they're old. So I, I need to get some new pants and I need to get some new shirts. But all the t-shirts that I had, I've had this thing where, like, I would take a t-shirt uh, off the rack that I had washed and, you know, go to put it on and it fits like a freaking spandex suit so then this is here behind the scenes i have to like put my arms into my shirt and sit there and stretch it out and try to oh god i gotta stretch the whole thing out ruin the collars because why uh because i have to be able to get this shirt to go over my big old belly uh without it looking ridiculous and 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 have it at least cling heavy or big or whatever and look look like it's kind of helping me hide uh, this uh, oversized uh, stomach of mine that I used to have that I <laughs> pretty much no longer have. Um, at the end of this run, when I'm done with these videos, I'm going to share uh, a video that's going to have a whole bunch of uh, images. Um, it's weird. Like, you think about uh, taking these before pictures and you think, no one's, I can't show this to anybody. I can't show this. Now that I'm here, uh, as, uh, again, once I, once I reach the goal, I think, once I hit 215, I'll be ready to show all the before and after pictures and, and line some things up and, and see for myself, uh, not just to share with you, but um, where this is going and where it's all gone, uh, literally. So, okay, that's my update. Uh, four, four months, 16 weeks, we continue on. Um, I am going to, so 215 and I weigh 222 right now. So that's seven pounds, I got seven pounds to go. Um, that's probably going to take me another 
two to three, probably, I'm going to say three weeks. Um, you know, unless I, for some reason I have a big week and, or maybe, maybe three weeks. Yeah. Three weeks sounds about right. I'm all over the map right now because I'm just feeling so good and I'm, I'm in such a good mood. And I thank you as always for spending some time with me in your morning and sharing with me your experience, your stories, your questions. Uh, thank you uh, to those of you that comment every single week and, and call me out and question me and, and, but those that encourage me and root me on and, and tell me that I'm, I'm, um, I'm doing the right things here. So I hope you're having a fantastic week and I will talk to you next Monday for the beginning of the next phase in this keto journey. Have a good week, everybody.